Today on Next Level Wednesday, I spoke with local attorney Denise Burke, who shared her journey of obtaining her law degree. Burke also shared the importance of knowing the law, even if you don't want to practice. Take a look. Welcome to Next Level Wednesday. Today we're talking to attorney Denise Burke, who's going to provide tips on how you can obtain your law degree. Denise, what were your steps toward obtaining your law degree after finishing high school? Um, I went to University of Michigan, and uh, you have to have a four-year degree. You have, a, have to have a bachelor's degree to apply to law school, and you have to take what's called an LSAT, Law School Admissions Test, um, and they look at your uh, grade point average from undergrad along with how you do on the law school admissions test and then you get into law school and uh, you have law school's three years and then you, when you graduate you're an attorney after you're sworn into the bar. So you graduate from law school and then um, an attorney has to make a motion to court to have you sworn in to practice law in Michigan. You mentioned even if you don't use your law degree, there are other things that you can do with it. Tell me about that. Right, so I encourage everybody to go to law school. I think that um, even if you don't practice law, even if you just do it for the education, every facet of our life needs lawyers nowadays. If you need to do a will, if someone dies in the family, how to administer that will or trust, how, when you buy a, a house, there's contracts in buying real estate. There's so many facets in the law in every way. What would you say is the most off-putting for people when they think of law school? I think the biggest uh, probably discourager is how long it takes. You do have to have a bachelor's and then law school is three years. For you, what is the most gratifying about being an attorney? The most gratifying thing about law is your problem solver for people and it is gratifying to know that you help somebody. Um, maybe it's a tough time for them um, and you were able to help them through the process. What would you say to those who feel they're too old for a career change? So in my law school class I had a lot of people change career. I had a dentist who was 62 years old that was changing careers and I say no age is too old no time is too old uh, and there's no time too young either. You can use your bachelor degree, it doesn't matter what your bachelor degree is in. So the first thing you would do if you're changing careers is sign up to take the law school admissions test, take your LSAT and then start researching law schools you like to go to. There, a lot of law schools have night programs and then just remember to keep reading and um, you may want to get your eyes checked before you go to law school because most people need glasses when they come out. <laughs> okay, Denise, lastly, what are the top three things a person must like or possess in this industry? Okay, reading. Um, it, there's a lot of reading, so you need to do that. Uh, you need to know how to write um, and have like to write a little bit. And then uh, just to be compassionate, I think would be the other ones to, um, you have to have some compassion to know that people have problems and it's tough for them and to have compassion with them to try to help them with their problem. Thank you, Denise, for taking the time to speak with me today. So there you have it. If you love to read and you have compassion for others and you like problem solving, this may be the industry for you. And as Denise put it, you are never too old. Tune in next week to Next Level Wednesday where your career path may be explored. Denise adds, when looking for schools, check out their pass-fail rate for the bar exam, which is a two-day exam required by each state. She says this is a great way to determine if this is the institution for you.